All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I'm going to say, Call Lung La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach you all. And of course, a sincere Shalom to all of you, Akim out there. That's pushing the truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so um, this is going to be a. a a GMS quick hit, you know, basically going into, you know, how this place, you know, is uh, is, is is truly a vexation of spirit. All right. Now, of course, you know, you know, we, we now, of course, we have the peace of Yahweh shy upon us, you know, you know, because because we're constantly, you know, walking. In, we're not constantly, but we try our best to walk in the spirit because, you know, this flesh, you know, always. You know, find some way to combat the spirit, you know, but we're always, you know, trying to find some way to to stay in the spirit and constantly walk in the spirit. OK. And, you know, just looking at the people and being around them, you know, their their uh, stupidity, you know, their vanity and their uh, obliviousness. It can sometimes vex you. OK. You know, meanwhile, you know, you have, you know, the promise of the Lord. You know, prophesying about the downfall of America, but over here you got people waiting on fucking a uh, white man, to, uh, 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 a fat Edomite to, to come down a damn chimney. Okay, <laughs> a mythical a character, so to speak, man. But but just this alone, you know, being you know you know uh, you know and this holiday, you know this this high hell day, Christmas and New Year's and whatnot, Thanksgiving and whatnot. OK, this alone proves how vain people are. It proves how vain, you know, well, actually, I'm going to say this. It proves, uh, you know, where people's minds are at. OK, because let me get this real quick. This is the uh, book of um Isaiah 60 in verse. I'm going to get to the point. Verse two, and it says, for behold, I'll start at one. Isaiah 16, verse 1, it says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Right, man, and that's talking about us, okay? You know, that that you know, that's talking about us, you know, getting this truth. Okay. That's the glory of Yahweh about Shmao Shai. All right, this light. Okay. And it's verse 2, it says, For behold, the, the it says, excuse me, verse 2, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Okay, and what's that darkness? Okay, okay, that 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 gross darkness is really going in about you know how you know uh, uh people are you know they're 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 so caught up in the ways of Esau and you know the the society you know and you know uh and uh, really Esau being being that he's the god of this world. You know they have. You know uh, he has blinded. You know the minds of the uh, the minds of the masses. Okay, the wicked elite on the left hand side have blinded these people. All right, in so much that they're in gross darkness. All right, now now and now is that literal? No, but that's spiritual because this place, as it says in the book of uh, Job, all right, in the book of Psalms as well, it says that it says that this place America is a place with darkness. All right, a land without order. OK, the valley of the shadow of death. All right. People are so ignorant here, man. All right. They're spiritually dead. You know, and all they want to do is celebrate Satan, you know, because what did what do we say in the book of first John? Or the second John, let me let me just search it up real quick. Yep. For, uh, first John 2 and 18, it says little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that I'm, I'm, I'm going to read it verbatim. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. Right, man? So being that we're living in the last days of the last days, you know, uh, the, the uh, demonic vibrations is, is at an all time high, man. OK, it is at an all time high, you know, and I'm a young man. The truth. You know, but but even for me, when I was growing up, you know, and you know the uh the the uh, you know this era or 
the 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 two thousands and you know and and you know so on and so forth. All right, I have never seen it like this in my life. Okay, I've never seen you know things like you know uh, LGB you know T you know the community and you know and uh man I can go on for days about how wicked this place is, but you know you get my drift. Okay, you got men want to be women and women want to be men. Okay, you got men who wearing finger polish and you know and 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 females getting beards. Okay, you got the you got you got certain animals you know they're extinct. You got garbage and you know uh, uh, outside the uh, the Earth's orbit. This place is is crazy, man. All right, and people here you know they you know they're all about wickedness. Okay, they're you know the, you know they're uh, uh, oblivious to you how about Shmuel Shai. Okay, these people here you know you know you know the reason why they're anti Christ is because they. They worship Satan without, you know, without even uh, uh, trying to, okay? Because everything here is as backwards, okay? The foundations of the earth are out of course, as, you know, as it says in, in the book of Psalms, okay? The 82nd chapter, all right? Everybody here is anti Mashiach, all right? Because... The uh the you know uh, uh the uh the, the brother in our camp over here, uh the brother Gabar um Gabar Shalawar, all right he uh he he once told me he was like uh he said uh, either you walking on the right hand side, or on the left hand side and that's true, you know because you no know, ultimately you know the uh our footsteps are controlled by Yahweh Shmuel Shai, you know either you serving the Most High or you serving Satan, all right there's no between man. And, and and people uh, uh people out here, especially here in, in the, the headquarters of wickedness, America, a lot of them are serving Satan, all right, without even you know uh, knowing it, okay. And for example, the, you know uh, Christmas, okay, they're doing that right now, you know they got the trees and shit, excuse my language, they got the ornaments and that and that goes back to, you know uh uh, uh, uh Nimrod's you know uh, area, you know. His private area, you know, and then they got that so-called star on top of the tree, which is a, a damn pentagram, or they put a a, a a little naked white baby or angel on top of the tree, you know. This place is all out wicked, man, and this is why you, you know it, why this place is is, is a vexation of spirit. That's just one reason, okay. And then we're amongst these people, but that's why Yahweh Shai said what he said: be harmless as doves, man, okay. Be wise as serpents, all right. Now, of course, you now of course, you know, we're not going to go on, on a work site or you know on our job and be like, you damn, you know, eating my devils, you dumbass, two thirty jakes. Nah, that's that'd be that'd be stupid, <laughs> you know, that'd be stupid, man. Then you, then you, and then you're gonna get fired, you know, and the next thing you know, you just out here without no uh, no damn job. That'd be that'd be foolish, okay. But of course, you know, uh, uh, you know, in our spirit, you know, you have about small shy nose where where our our, uh, our heart is, all right, our mind is, okay. He knows that we don't like this, all right. He knows that we are not for these these uh, these high hell days, okay. He knows that we are not worshiping the, the you know these the, these false gods, okay. But guess what? People uh, people out here are doing those things, all right. And that's why, you know, them doing these things, they're going to be judged for it. Okay? Unless you repent, of course. You know, come back to Yahweh by small shy if the Lord opens you up, you know, as being an Israelite. So, um, I got that. All right, it's Isaiah 5 and verse 20. And it says, um, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's plain. All right. Everything here is esteemed, you know, good. But in the eyes of of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, according to his word, the Bible is evil. Okay. Adultery. That's putting a pedestal here. That's evil, man. That's wicked. All right. People, uh, uh they, they think, well, I'm going to say there's men on this side, especially Jake, man. You know, they take pride in, you know, in, in popping another man's woman or wife, I should say. That's off. All right. 
And then vice versa, you got women out here that enjoy having multiple rides inside them. Okay? Hey, excuse my language, but that's the truth, man. That's adultery. Okay? Whole time, uh, whole, t uh, whole time, they have a so-called uh, side dude and a, and a main dude. All right? That's one thing, you know, that's off here. What else is, you know, uh, what else? You know, people eating abominations. Okay, pork, you know. Uh, 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 you know, uh, swine's flesh, you know, crab legs, shrimp, you know, people are and you're smoking, okay. What else? Uh, uh, um, 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 praising Satan, the, you know, all those things here are put in a pedestal as if they're righteous, but it's not, man. That proves that this is hell, okay. That proves that we're in Satan's seat, all right. Yahweh Shai said, if, uh, if if these days keep going, basically, then guess what? No flesh shall be saved. That's why we have to be delivered, man. And guess what? We, we Guess what? Yahweh Shai Shai will deliver us. Okay? He will deliver us, man. Soon, soon it's not going to be no more stressing out over, you know, mortal thoughts, you know, or, you know, being depressed or having anxiety, you know. We're going to be good soon, man. No more tears, no more pain. All right. No more, no more nothing, no more problems. Okay. All this stuff you see right now is going to burn up. As it says in the book of the second Peter, the third chapter. Let's get that real quick. Second Peter three, I get to the point in verse. Um, I'm sorry, the 10, it says, but the day of the Lord, how shy will come as a thief in the night, right? How shy is it going to come swift? All right. Like lightning. And the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise. All right. Meaning what? Meaning this heaven right here, here on earth. All right. Esau's rulership, because that great noise is going to be those nuclear missiles. All right. That that destroying wind. And it says, and the elements, meaning what? The people, you know, the uh, the buildings. Hey, uh, uh, the, the animals. Okay. The trees, everything you see, the cars, the women, all right. Straight, you know, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, um, vanity, all right. All of that's gonna be burnt up, man. All right, America as a whole, Babylon is gonna be dissolved. Okay, and it says, shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Right, man, you know, and guess what? You know, the works that are in, you know, Babylon, you know, particularly is evil, man. All right. Right now, you got Esau working on his NWO. You know, he want to uh, he want to juice. He want to juice your ass up and then ultimately put that Karagma inside you. OK, the MOTB. That, you know, uh, that's a that's a, 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 a very evil work, man. You know. This place has to go. And guess what? It, it is going to go. Okay. Verse 11, it says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in, in all holy conversation, excuse me, in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat? Right, man. The, these elements, everything you see, you know, that's temporal is going to fade away and pass away, man. All right. Verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where in dwelleth righteousness. And that's one thing that this place lacks righteousness. OK. And guess what? The kingdom of heaven. All right. The kingdom of Israel. Start starting off with the house shy, you know, the, the you know, the uh, the 12 and, you know, then the elect. And then, and then, and then the rest of the nation, the nation Israel. Okay, everything is gonna be back, back in its rightful place, because right now, you know, you have uh, uh, Esau. He has uh, 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 discombobulated, you know, the uh, the ordinances of the planet Earth. So, so, so everything you see is is uh, is uh, is not functioning properly. All right, the people, you know, they're through. Okay, the women, the children. All right, this whole system is is, is tainted. That's why it ha it, that's why it has to go. All right, and then a new righteous system. 
all right, is going to be here on earth, all right, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever for eternity, man. Okay, that's why Paul said the things that we don't see are eternal. Okay. Because right now, you know, we can't tangibly touch, you know, you know, uh, the kingdom right now. OK, we can't see right now. All right. But that's why. But that's why. But that's why he says the kingdom it is it uh, uh, um, is within you. All right. It starts with us. All right. Starting off with, you know, the apostles and, 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 uh, and the elders and down. OK. The kingdom is nigh, man. All right. Let me see if I got a one more scripture. <clears throat> yeah, I think that was it. All right, yeah, that was a point. You know, so with that being said, I just want to say, Koho Lang La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, double honor being to the elder apostles, great millstone, that do rule and teach well. You know, in Lord's will, you uh, edify through the sparing power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. With that being said, shalom.